guys, welcome back to part 5 of our Adobe Premiere Pro Action Series Tutorials. And like I said before, that's a long one, but hey. Alright, so let's keep going with this. We're almost quite done. We're almost quite done, you notice that. Um, so, okay, next step is the special effects. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you've probably heard of Andrew Kramer, uh, producer of the Action Pack Essentials. Um, now, I tried not to use this because I know I just recently got it. And I know how hard it is not to do it. Um, but anyway, what I used to do is just add normal sound effects. Um, and you don't even have to show the flash, just normal sound effects. And you just kind of cut out a frame or two to make the gun look more realistic, like I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to import some of Andrew Kramer's stuff. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go find some music. All right. And our sound effect. Okay, and I just thought maybe you guys would be wondering how to speed things up and reverse them in actually um, the Adobe program. Um, now, this is a lot different from Sony's version. Um, all you have to do in here is go to the clip you would like to reverse, right click, go up to speed duration, all right, and just click reverse speed, and that'll reverse it. Okay, that's all you have to do. Okay, and to speed it up, you'll notice you have a tool over here called the Rate Stretch Tool. It's uh, hockey is X. So when you click that, when you uh, slide it closer, you'll notice that it speeds up. Okay, that doesn't trim it; it speeds it up. So I just thought maybe you guys would want to know that real fast, um, but yet yeah, effective. Okay, so now we have our muzzle flash. Luckily, I don't have to use Adobe After Effects to actually um, put this in, which is nice. Okay, so all you have to do is just find the frame where you uh, need the effect. Alright, so let's wait for my brother to shoot it. Alright, right there. Looks good right there. Okay, so just go ahead. And all you have to do is just drag it out onto the timeline. Um, as long as you have um, snapping on, it'll just snap to the same frame as your thing is in. And you'll notice that that isn't the ideal place for the muzzle flash. So go ahead and go up to here where it says fit. Go down to about 25%. Just click the muzzle flash. Alright, and all you have to do is just place it. So I think... Alright. Let's go back one frame just to get some... Yeah, there we go. Alright, and just grab your... Hit V to get your normal selection. Just like this. Alright. Click your muzzle flash again. Go ahead and keep opening that bigger. Alright, that may look unrealistic, but um, we'll make it look better. Okay, so now that we have that, it's just going to kind of go and blah, blah, blah. Alright, and if you want to, if your character is moving, sometimes what I do is I click the actual footage, I go up to motion, click that down arrow, and click the stopwatch, okay, and then I just apply that, and I move it, and it gives me the keyframes. Um, so that's really neat, um, and just, I'm going to cancel that. So now what we need to do is we need to work on that sound effect. Um, but before that, let's go ahead and we're going to color correct the muzzle flash. Okay, so let's go down to color correction. It should still be open. So just grab your brightness and contrast, drag that over. Grab your color balance, drag that back over. Um, and I don't think we need the RGB curves. So go ahead and click the footage. And go to brightness and contrast. Turn up the contrast just a bit. And we're going to try to make this blend in. Okay. Now let's go to color balance and desaturate it a lot. Just pretty much 60. Let's try this. Alright, that looks good, but not as good as I would like it. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. Let me just turn it back up. Alright, so that is how you color correct the actual effect of the muzzle flash. Alright, now for the sound effect. Alright, go ahead and drag your sound effect down into there. And make sure your uh, your little slider thing is right there. I'm lined up. Okay, now just all you have to do is let's expand this by hitting this down arrow right there. Alright, let's just trim this to where the sound is. Right there. Alright, just drag that over. And there you go. It's that easy. Alright, but I kind of want this to be a slow motion type deal. 
So I'm going to grab my rate stretch tool, and I'm going to stretch my muzzle flash out. I'm going to uh, I'm going to stretch out the sound effect there, and I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to press C on my keyboard, and I'm going to click into the actual footage. All right, hit V again, and this time. You're gonna go over here, grab your stretch tool. All right, you're gonna stretch this out a little bit. Okay, and now just kind of try to preview it. All right, and that looks pretty good right there. So now, you guys ready for the final part, part six? All right, all right, I'll see you guys there.